All right, guys, it's that time. It's time to say goodbye to the E39 M5. Yes, it's a sad day on the channel. Uh, the E39 has been in my possession for about two years now, and um, we've had a lot of amazing memories, tons of road trips, tons of people, amazing car community, especially the E39 guys. So shout out to everyone I've met um, through this car and really any of these cars in general, but specifically, as you guys probably know, uh, this car has a very, very cult following. So when you own something like this, it's really cool, as I've mentioned in so many other videos, um, how special it is, the car itself, but also the community behind it. I do wanna show how I like to sell cars and I got this from a few friends. Um, it just seems like, I don't know, I've surrounded myself with good guys. And I think that when you sell something, it should be in good faith and it should be for the right reasons. And so that is why we have a, a little corner here for the new owner. Uh, we have two car keys. We have the title, which I'll flip over just in case there's something there that no one should see. Um, and there is a book full of um, receipts and, um, all of my printed out spreadsheet. I gave him the electronic version as well, but you guys can see um, the mileage and the approximate cost. I also printed off a picture that, uh, I don't know if someone sent me this. Um, Nick Wilburn has an E30 on as well. I feel like one of those guys sent it to me. So this is not my car or uh, soon to be uh, the new owner's car, but this is actually the car where uh, you have like kind of the core group of guys. I think that's Luke's car, Ryan's car. And then there's a few other guys, maybe Nick's cars in here as well. Um, and I just put a little arrow there because I don't know, I printed out, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, why not? And then I'm not going to flash everything here, but I do have, I printed out some pictures of kind of, you know, I said, we you know we did this, that, and the other. So I print off a lot of pictures and uh, things. I don't really want to flash everything to you because there's addresses and stuff on there, but that is the maintenance log for my ownership. Um, I will give him a um, liter of oil. Uh, as I mentioned, this car doesn't really drink much oil, but it's always nice to have an extra just in case. And I also have um, some aftermarket halos. Uh, these are actually the stock halos, but uh, I did put LEDs in here and I took them out, but he actually wanted me to put them back in. So I did that, they're just the white ones. Uh, I had an issue with them burning out. So I said, hey man, I'll put the, uh, LEDs back in, but I'll give you the stock ones in case you have an issue with them burning out. Uh, this is the Dr. Color chip I did uh, for the front, so it's obviously carbon black. I touched up for a second round as part of the selling process. I agreed that I would do a second round of uh, rock chip coloring. That's an extra bulb down there. And I got some extra, you know, detailing things. This is my old wheel brush, which, you know, has seen better days, but if he doesn't have one, I figure, you know, it's better to start with something. Um, some detailing stuff I don't really use, so might as well, you know, he's gonna hopefully take good care of it. So I did a lot of hours paint correcting, a uh, nice foam block. And uh, these are uh, exhaust tips for the muffler delete package that I had intentions to do on this car. Um, just kind of ran out of time, honestly. So um, he might buy these off of me as well. Um, if I still have them, you know, he doesn't really want them. Maybe I will just post something on Instagram and I'll sell them to one of you guys if you want. Uh, they're really nice. They're the uh, bigger tips, the 80 millimeters. So um, with that said, that is how I like to sell a car. You know, I have the title, which makes things convenient. I have two keys and I have, you know, the history and the passion for, you know, why I have this car. Um, you know, on to different things. That's just part of how life goes sometimes. But um, yeah, so this is the last kind of walk around of the car. Um, the last thing I have to do is put the Grom back in it. I was actually planning on selling it without the Grom Bluetooth because I put that in this car. Uh, but he really wanted it, so he uh, paid me for it. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that. And I'll give you a quick once over. We'll go inside the car. I did a fresh vacuum, a fresh wipe down. I actually did do a quick application of Leather Reek overnight and I just wiped down the steering wheel because everyone loves a fresh steering wheel. Uh, another thing you guys will notice, I finally have a fresh navigation screen, LCD screen or whatever. Mine had some dead pixels. I finally got around to replacing it and he wanted me to do that upon selling the car to him. Uh, so obviously that's done, which kind of sucks. I didn't get to enjoy a nice crisp new screen, but 
oh well, probably should have done that earlier. Um, these are a couple things that I'm going to take out of the car, just kind of, um, that's probably like registration stuff, the original book, and then um, that's like a little scanner. So they're just random things I'm taking out, uh, no big deal. So that's the way the car sits now. Um, really sad to see this thing go, but you know, it's going to a good home and it's going to someone who, you know, a car like this is his dream car. So um, that is literally the type of person that I would like to sell to. And that's also part of the reason why I'm giving him a couple extra things. You know, like what's the point of trying to hang on to like this tire shine when I just frankly don't really use it. I have like four other bottles of different ones that I like to use better and might as well give him that. If he doesn't like it, he can throw it away. So uh, we're gonna do a last drive. Um, you can hear my voice, I am a little sad, I am sad. Um, so we're gonna do a last drive, last impressions, and we will um, see the M5 off.